Hey everyone, it's Jamie here and welcome back to Travel Blog Jamie. Today I am staying at the Hilton Bournemouth, billed as a seaside stay with rooftop views. Here's my full tour and review. The Hilton Bournemouth is just a stone's throw away from the city centre with all its quirky shops, restaurants, bars and parks and no more than a 10 minute walk from the beach. Parking is available adjacent to the hotel for £12 per night, rising to £14 on a Friday and Saturday, payable on arrival. You can expect services and amenities such as complimentary Wi-Fi, in-room dining, concierge, a spa, indoor heated pool, fitness centre, on-site restaurant and bar, and a magnificent rooftop bar which I can't wait to show you later. First of all, the lobby area looks and smells fresh, complete with a breezy, citrusy scent and a hydration station. Or oh, let's say that again, hydration station. It's always welcome. Alrighty, let's head up to floor five to have a look at what's billed as a standard room. And yes, you're not wrong, those are horses on the wall in the Hilton, that's right. Now my immediate impressions of our room were positive. It's a really good space, some nice accent colours, retro in all the right ways, not overly cluttered and quite homely. Plenty of UK sockets and USB ports as well, as you'll see. So come with me, let's have a peep around. Of course, if you're willing to pay extra ka-ching, you can also have those ocean views. And as you can see, storage are plenty in these rooms if you were enjoying an extended stay. I found the bathroom to be rather stylish, a good size and with amenities such as shampoo, conditioner, body wash and soap. Oh my goodness, look, there's a toilet as well. Thank goodness. Thank you, Jesus. and a thermostat to keep things on the cool side for us, just how we like our rooms. You 
can of course order in for your breakfast and there seems plenty of choice too. Just remember the five pound tray charge. We had breakfast in the restaurant, which we'll see a little later. Now to the less good. We paid £139 for this room for one night, which is of the cheapest we have seen in a long while. You can expect to pay anywhere up to £300 for this room, depending on availability. As you can see, it was not all up to scratch and in need of a refresh. We would not have been pleased had we paid any more for this room. And this was the cheapest. You pay more for a king room, rooms for balconies, family rooms, and of course, suites. It's also true we didn't notice some of those issues on the walls until a little bit too late in our stay. Had we noticed earlier, we would have gone down to reception and expected a change of room. However, let's look at what is the pièce de résistance of the Hilton Bournemouth, level 8, located on the 7th floor. I mean, the 8th floor, level 8, on 8, the 8th floor, obviously. This is the hotel's lovely rooftop sky bar and it is chic, chic, chic. Has tons of natural light by day and sweeping views of Bournemouth. The outside balcony area is a delight with plush seating overlooking the city. Expect daytime afternoon tea, nighttime tunes and extensive drinks menu and bar snacks. The cocktails were very good quality, if not a little pricey. And yes, I am totes misunderstood, by the way. And back on ground floor and that bar downstairs. No, really, that's what it's called. That bar downstairs. Come on, it's like they're not even trying now. Welcome to Spoons and Forks. Yes, I am being serious here. Just look at that name and oh my goodness, that terrible spelling. This is the ground floor restaurant serving breakfast and all day dining from the main menu. Expect modern British all day restaurant featuring an open kitchen with a tandoor and stone oven. We didn't eat dinner here on this occasion as our last experience was so-so and there are so many better, unique and independent nearby eateries. Message me if you want to know which, I'll happily get back to you. However, we did pay an extra £15 per person to try breakfast. There was ample choice and the food was pretty standard. There are two self-serve coffee machines and they operate at a glacial pace, so you'll need your patience here. I don't know who needs to know this, but those pancakes were cold and rubbery. Blech. The freshly baked pastries were, however, far more successful. Tonic Social is a bar with al fresco opportunities. That means you can sit outside. They serve local bites, coffee, and something much stronger if you so wish. It wasn't open on our stay, so do check in advance if you're wanting to drink here. The on-site spa offers a range of treatments bookable via the Hilton Bournemouth's website or by calling. There's also a full service salon if you fancy a Brazilian up top or even below. Ouch, Arama. Hotel guests enjoy complimentary access to the gym, sauna, steam room, and pool. Has anybody even noticed that I'm not well today? Oh, poor me. Please send prayers. And that's my tour and review. Overall, if you can find a room at a more reasonable rate, I definitely recommend the Hilton Bournemouth. As I've shown, it may be that some of the rooms need a facelift, and if we'd paid any more for our room and we'd noticed some of the issues a little bit sooner, we would have been straight down to reception to ask for another. The best of the hotel is definitely the rooftop bar and its spa facilities in my view, together with its location. But what do you think? Drop your comments below and I'll get back to you. In the meantime, don't forget to follow Travel Jamie on Twitter, Instagram and YouTube.